guys, so today I'm going to be showing you how I'm achieving the ombre effect on my hair. Um, I'm just using one simple product. I'm not using any like medium and like dark and light colors. I'm just using a bleach blonde. And because I have such dark thick hair, I have to use like the most like severe bleach ever <laughs> to make your hair really blonde. So um, this isn't going to make my hair completely blonde. I'm not going to leave it on like forever. Like I'm going to keep watching it and once it starts to turn lighter, I'll be checking it and then rinse it out. So I'm using the Feria, the L'Oreal Feria, um, number 205, extra bleach blonde. And it just comes with this shimmer developing cream, uh, two lightning powder packets, and then the usual kind of hair dye stuff. So you are going to need a, a bowl, um, and then of course gloves, but most hair dyes come with gloves. So now because I'm, I want my, the bottom of my hair to be the lightest, which is what an ombre effect is, I'm going to tie up the two thirds of my hair. So I'm just going to go directly behind my ears, all the way to the back of my head. And then tie that section up. And just get it completely away from the bottom section of your head. This is going to prevent any bleach getting onto that section. Alright, so now we're going to start the bleaching process. Um, so just follow the instructions on your packet. Everyone's different. So. Alright, so now that I've got my mixture all mixed up, I just ended up using the whole bottle because I have no, int no intentions of dyeing my hair blonde again. So I just dumped the whole bottle in that way if I mess up. Doesn't matter. So now make sure you have your gloves on because this and oh my god this smell. Wow. So make sure you have tin foil because you're gonna need to wrap it up. So just have some tin foil sheets ready. And then what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna apply it, take a little bit on the glove, and then apply it to the end of my hair. <coughs> oh my god, that's so strong. And then take whatever's left and then put it a little bit more up. And this is what's going to help create the ombre effect. So it's not going to be like just damn, damn straight like a dead line. It'll be a little bit. Take your aluminum foil piece and then close it. Oh my god, that is so freaking like burn your eyes. All right, now work on the next section. No, if you can tell where my eyes are like watering. Um, so I just did this part for now and I'll come back in about 20 minutes, like it says, and I'm just going to see how it's progressed um, throughout the time just to test how long it should take. So I'll be back. Hey guys, so it's been about 10, 15 minutes and I just took a look at it and it's processing very quickly. It's starting to turn a lot lighter, you can clearly tell. So um, if you do have dark hair and you're going to use uh, this brand, I suggest, you know, keeping an eye on it because I read the instructions and it said wait 20 minutes, but I guess that's if you're already blonde and you're just going blonde. So yeah, I am, I'll show you what it looks like. This is second piece. Okay, so I don't know if you guys can tell on camera, but I can tell um, at the, uh, the ends, my ends are getting really almost kind of orange. So I'll see how this progresses and I'll um, be back when I take it off and I'll tell you how long it's been. So I'm not sure if you can tell on camera. Um, it did, I took it out after about 15-20 minutes and it did get, it did get lighter, you can tell. And you can tell my hair is a little bit more coarse than it normally is, which um, I'm going to add a lot of conditioner when I need to condition it after and make sure I guess it's original health pack. Um, but it is darker, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to take this side out now, and I'm going to show you guys what I did. And I just blow dried it, so it's not significantly dark, I mean significantly lighter, but you can tell, and it, it really brightens up my face, so I'm just going to show you guys. Make sure you wear close with this. And then just unfold your aluminum foil. Okay, so it's lighter you guys can't tell on camera sorry the lighting in my washroom is really, really bad so now that it's you want to make sure your hair is the same color too you don't want to like go set hair colors or anything that's just bad so now um what you want to do is you can just rinse it under the tap or rinse it just take the hair dye out um so all i'm doing is i'm just taking the strand of hair and i'm just going to put it on warm water it's not going to make it hot or cold and then just take it and then rinse it out.
but you don't want to shampoo your hair yet. So I'm just going to go blow dry this part of my hair now and I'll, I'll be right back. It's going to, so you guys can tell that this part is way lighter. Well, you can't really tell on camera, but this part is lighter than that other part because I brought some other my hair down. So now I'm going to legitly ombre my hair and um, I'll be back once I'm done the bleaching. So if you guys don't know how to bleach, I'll show you. And I'm going to take my gloves and just run whatever I have left onto my hair. And then because you want your bottoms to be lightest, just take some bleach and leave that. But then, say after like 10 minutes, you're going to take your hair out of the aluminum foil and then put it in the middle section. So that way, it's going to be on for a different amount of time, but it's going to be still significantly lighter. So, And you know, you can just kind of create markings on your hair as how you want to, so. Just kind of put it through your hair like that. Just wrap it up. And then do the same for this side. So I just got out of the shower and I, I didn't shampoo my hair because I just shampooed it yesterday but I just added the conditioner and it was the the one that it comes with on the Feria uh, conditioner. So I didn't shampoo my hair just because I shampooed it yesterday so I just uh, conditioned it and that's basically going to add the shimmer back and then make sure the hair color stays in. So what I think I'm going to do because I haven't shampooed my hair yet, I think I'm just going to add a little bit more bleach to the ends just to kind of um, make it a little bit more lighter because it looks like some of the hair didn't dye properly. So uh, I'm just going to do the same thing. I'm just going to add a little bit of extra dye and then just rinse it out again. So that'll be it and then I'll show you guys the 100% complete look and I love it. I think it looks good. It's the back of my hair and you can't really tell. So I think I'm just going to add a little bit more bleach and then I'll let you guys know once it's done. Alright guys, so pretty much everything is done. Um, I rinsed the color out. Um, and this is how it turned out. So I really like it. I just curled it because I I made this really dumb mistake where I, I took like my, the crown section of my head and just like cut it off. So my hair's really uneven at the moment so I'm waiting for it to grow out a little bit so I can Fix that part, which is why I curled it. Um, I don't wear my hair straight anymore. It either has to be like waved or curled. So this is what it looks like from the front. So the ends are kind of like this orange, but they're gonna go more blonde as I wash it. And it sits. And this is the back. I'm very happy with the way it turned out. It cost me like $10 to do it. Well, I guess maybe like $15 at the most by the time I bought the, the bowl and everything. But yeah, I'm really, really happy. My hair isn't as damaged as I thought it was going to be because I bleached my hair. But I guess because I didn't like bleach it to the point where it was like completely blonde. So yeah, I really like it. And if you guys are going to do a DIY ombre your hair as well, it's, I mean, it's pretty easy to do. I'm sorry if I'm echoing by the way I'm in my washroom. It's very easy to do. It's just a matter of, you know, having the guts to do it. I am very experimentative. Like, I don't really care. I mean, as long as my hair doesn't, like, turn or, like, burn off or something, I mean, I'm fine. Because you can always fix it, right? And it's always fun to experiment. So, yeah, I hope you guys found this helpful. Let me know what you guys think about my hair in the comment section below. I love it. I'm excited to go to work tomorrow and show everybody, see if they notice. So yeah, I'll, I'll tweet about it. I'll let you know if they noticed it right away or not. So yeah, thank you guys so much for watching. I'll talk to you soon. Bye.